philosophist hogwash, Felix. Yeah, if by philosophist hogwash you mean the virtues of enlightened anarchy. Hey, Bill. Organization Bell. separates us from... I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. The spat in your spirits, Belma. You notice my mood? I'm surprised you can see straight today. I could be seen triple and I'd still think you're being unkind. I just might find it funnier. Will you try wrangling half a ton of dead fish with decades old equipment and see what it does for your disposition? Anyway, what do you folks need? That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Yeah. I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Fair enough. The damn thing's been a headache anyway. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. I overheard you listening to Tossball. You a fan? Am I a fan? She asks. I've been a fan since the Rangers won the Triple Kale Crown. R New face, huh? You from Off World? A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss?
If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave Sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. I never meant to call for anyone's head on a pike. Velma's not my favorite person, but she ain't been cruel to us. Devil it all. Now you got me feeling sorry for her. Fine. I guess we'll go back to work to save Velma's job. We'll find a better time to negotiate our wages. Tell Velma not to worry. We'll look out for her. Hey, Nioka. I got some questions I've been meaning to ask you. About being a hunter and all. Helix. Are you reading off your hands again? Yep. So, uh, first question. Before you kill your prey, do you ever say any snappy one-liners? Snappy one-liners? Give me an example. Like, nothing personal. Or maybe, you messed with the wrong hunter. Animals can't understand language, Felix. Besides, it's always personal. I don't care. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but... I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. You knocked any sense into him yet? Well, that's... awful nice of him. Sure wouldn't have expected that. Thanks for your help. You've gotten me out of a tight spot here. Take this for your efforts. Honest work deserves honest pay. Something else on your mind? I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rat musk. 